All right, so we're gonna be dealing with acceleration on Marlin, which is basically most 3D printers run on Marlin. So let's see let's see how it how it really is because here's the thing about um, the acceleration. Most people don't set it, and it's usually at default 3,000. And I've never taken it down to nothing, and that's what I've done today, is to kind of almost hack the system because when you 3D print something, usually there's no slowing and starting, like ramping up like this. You hear the the, the delay and the wind upness. That's at 100 set. So let's set the let's set the acceleration the, um, to like a thousand now and then just in case I'll go to I'll set this one to a thousand too because it's like the same one it's the maximum just in case so then I'll move it as fast as I can. Let's see what happens now with the, yep. There's no wind up. Okay, now let's go back to the acceleration and get a little bit more back. Let's set it down to 400. I think it's still st stuck there. We gotta actually go to the the actual adjustment for that would be the maximum. You would set the maximum for that actual drive. So like the acceleration isn't. I don't think it matters. So I'll set it back at 2,500, and then I'll set the max for X back down to I'll try 200. See what that's like, and it goes down only to 100. Let's see if it worked. Oh yeah, it worked. All right, now I'm gonna set it to 300. Or 400 again. Four hundred. That's that's a smooth transition. I might stick with around four to five hundred. Because I like I like it doing that because skips skip steps and high speeds that's the opposite of what we got now and and there's really it's really beneficial to just have it have that ramp up I believe even though it it all adds up in time that ramping effect it, it might even cost you an, a whole extra hour maybe maybe more maybe two hours on a say like a seven hour print because if it's around 10 to 20 percent slower for the ramp up time and it's a small print it's constantly ramping up because it's constantly maybe stopping and doing layers then it would it would be like you just want you just want it to go back to super fast like the that's what that's the idea is this time efficiency <laughs> so you wanted to watch a movie yeah that's been how to 
see results of acceleration and how to exactly go through it. Now I know for sure that that's how I'm gonna do it. But thanks for watching, subscribe, and check out the other videos.